Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. Thanks for watching. We're going to go ahead and solve for P in this problem. So the first thing, it may be important and it may help you out when solving this, but we need to show that there's a 1 there in front of that P. Now not everyone needs to, but it just may be helpful, alright? So when we take this 127 P and subtract 1 P, uh, we can just see that value of 1 there, which allows us now to subtract those We'll still have a certain number of P's, but looks like we have 126 P's left. Now, what that does is it combines both of these two terms on the right side of the equal sign. And this equals negative 21. Well, that's 126 times P. So, in order to solve for P by itself, we're just going to divide both sides by 126. What this does is it gets the P, again, all by itself. So now this equals P, but this answer is going to be negative because we have an odd number of negatives. 21 divided by 126. We can see that both of these are divisible by 3 because when we add the digits together, they uh, give us a multiple of 3. So 21 divided by 3, we know that one to be 7 already. And then 126 divided by 3, that's something we may need to do. So 126 divided by 3, 3 go, does not go into 1, but it does go into 12 4 times. So minus 12 gives us 0, drop to 6, 3 goes into 6, 2 times evenly, so we have 7 over 42. Well, 7 is divisible by 42, and uh, I'm sorry, 42 is divisible by 7, and so is 7. So we can divide both these by 7 in order to simplify that fraction giving us a negative one-sixth equals P. And that would be our final answer. Now when you do these types of problems, make sure you check. So you would rewrite the original problem, replace the P with the value that we found, and then just make sure that it gives you a true statement. 